Brought to you by wikivd.com Karen Johar Karen Johar, often informally referred to as KJO, is an Indian film director, producer, screenwriter, costume designer, actor and television personality who is primarily known for his work in Hindi films. He is the son of Hayaru Johar and the acclaimed producer Yash Johar. Johar made his directorial debut with a blockbuster romance Kuch Kuch Ho to High, which earned him the Film Faro Awards for Best Director and Best Screenplay. His next two films were the ensemble dramas Kabi Kashi Kapi Gam and Kabi Alvida Narkena, which were both very successful in the overseas market. His counter-terrorism drama My Name is Khan earned him his second film fair award for Best Director. These along with the several successful films he has produced under the Dharma Productions banner have established him as one of the leading director-producers in Hindi cinema. Early in Personal Life Karan Johar was born in Mumbai, India to Indian Bollywood film producer Yash Johar, founder of Dharma Productions and Hayaru Johar. He studied at the Green Lawns High School and attended HR College of Commerce and Economics both in Mumbai. He received a master's degree in French. Johar started his career in entertainment industry as an actor. He played the role of Shrikant in 1989 Dordashan serial Indrada Nush. As a child, he was influenced by commercial Indian cinema. He cites Raj Kapoor, Yash Chopra and Suraja Bhajatya as his inspirations. For a time Johar followed numerology creating film titles in which the first word and a number of others in the title began with the letter K after watching the 2006 film Lagi Raho Manabai which was critical of numerology Johar decided to stop this practice. Johar is a single father to twins through surrogacy. The twins were born at Masrani Hospital in Mumbai. Johar named his son Yash after his father, and his daughter Ruhi rearranged from his mother's name Hayaru. Director Johar entered the film industry as an assistant director on Aditya Chopra's Dilwali Dulhaniyala Jayinga which is regarded as a landmark in Hindi cinema. He then made his own directorial debut. With the blockbuster romance Kuch Kuch Ho to Hai, the first half of the film centers on a college love triangle between an insensitive boy, his tomboyish best friend and the prettiest girl at the college, while the second half centers on the now-widowed boy's attempt to reconnect with his best friend who is now engaged to marry another man. The film became a major blockbuster at the box office and received mostly positive reviews from critics. Writing for Planet Bollywood, critic Anish Khanna commented that Karan Johar makes an impressive directorial debut, has a good script sense and knows how to make a film with STYLE. It won the National Film Award for Best Popular Film Providing Wholesome Entertainment. It swept most of the major awards at the 44th Film Faro Awards including Best Film Best Director and all four acting awards. Jahar's next directorial venture was the multi-star family drama Kabi Kashi Kapi Gam. The film starred Amitabh Bachchan as an egotistical rich industrialist, Jaya Bachchan as his compassionate wife and Shah Rukh Khan and Rithik Roshan as their two sons. It also featured Kajal and Karina Kapoor as sisters from a lower-class family who become the love interests of Khan and Roshan respectively. The film became Jahar's second major blockbuster at the box office and received mostly positive reviews from critics. Critic Taran Adarsh commented that Johar confirms the fact that he is the brightest in film firmament. The premise of the film is simple. But it is the storytelling that deserves the highest marks. 
Jahar's third directorial venture was the multi-star romantic drama Kabi Alvida Narkena, which dealt with the controversial subject of marital infidelity against the backdrop of non-resident Indians living in New York City. The film's plot follows a washed-up athlete whose frustration with the professional success of his wife results in an extramarital affair with a family friend who is also unhappy with her marriage to her childhood friend. The film was a major success in India and an even larger success overseas. It received mostly positive reviews from critics who praised Jahar's departure from the directorial style of his first two films. Rajiv Masson wrote, Few writers have such solid control over their their screenplay as Karen Johar does. Few understand the intricacies of narrative as well as he does. Johar goes from highs to lows, from plateaus to peaks with the ease of a pro. He knows exactly how to turn a seemingly ordinary scene into something special with just that one line of dialogue or that hint of background music. The script of the film, which was co-written, by Joha received recognition by a number of critics and was invited to be included in the library of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Joha's fourth directorial venture was the counter-terrorism drama My Name is Khan. The plot follows a Muslim man and his wife played by Shah Rukh Khan and Kajal who live in San Francisco and face racial prejudice after the September September 11 attacks. The film became a major commercial success and received rave reviews from critics who praised Jahar's unconventional directorial style. Critic Subhash K. Jah wrote that the film is a flawless work as perfect in content tone and treatment as any film can get. The film won Jahar his second film fair award for Best Director, for his next feature film Student of the Year Johar chose not to cast established actors for his lead roles and instead recruited three debutante actors. The plot revolved around the quest of a group of students who are all gunning for the title of Student of the Year at their college. The film was a moderate commercial success and received mixed reviews from critics. Some called it supremely entertaining and enjoyable, while others called it a film which suffers from the lack of a story syndrome. Johar then teamed up with Zoya actor Anu Rag Kashyap and Dibaka Banerjee for Bombay Talkies, an anthology film released to celebrate the centenary year of Hindi cinema. Each of the directors made one short film to contribute to the large anthology. The plot of Jahar's film followed a magazine editor who discovers that her husband is gay after an interaction with an intern at her office. The film did not perform very well at the box office, but earned positive reviews from critics. Jahar's next directorial venture was the romantic drama film Meredil Hai Mushkal, Starring Aishwarya Ray Betch and Ranbir Kapoor and Anushka Sharma in lead roles. The film received mostly positive reviews from critics and was a commercial success. Producer Jahar's directorial work has been under the Dharma Productions banner founded by his father Yash Johar and taken over by him after his father's death in 2004. In addition to his own directorial work he has produced several films by other directors under the Dharma banner. Many of these films have become major successes including Kal Ho Na Ho Dostana, I Hate Love Stories Agni Path Ye Chowani Hai Wani Two States Humpty Sharma Ki Dulhania and Kapoor. Actor in addition to working as an assistant director on Dilwali Dulhania Laja Yinga, Johar was an actor in the film playing the minor role of a friend of Shah Rukh Khan's character. Since then he has made cameo appearances playing himself in films like Om Shanti Om Fashion and Luck by Chance. 
He made his full-fledged acting debut alongside Ranbir Kapoor and Anushka Sharma in Anirag Kashyap's period drama Bombay Velvet, in which he played the main antagonist. Although the film did not perform well at the box office, Johar earned some appreciation for his performance. Critic Sarita Etanwa commented, The only consolation in the film is Karen Johar who brings a lot of dignity to the character of Kumbhita, which is commendable. Since this is totally outside his comfort space, television. Johar is the host of Coffee with Karen, a celebrity-based talk show where he interviews actors, directors, producers and other prominent members of the Hindi film industry. The first season aired from 2004 to 2000. And five. The second season aired in 2007. The third season aired from 2010 to 2011. The fourth season aired from 2013 to 2014, and the fifth season started airing on the 6th of November 2016. Since 2012, he has served as a judge on the reality shows Jalak Dikla Jaa and India's Got Talent. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?